Can you think of any success or improvement stories of drivers that you'd be able to share, you know, anything simple or, or, or something beyond that where, you know, maybe a driver wasn't sold right away on it and, and they came back and talked to you about it or anything that comes to mind on success with, with your drivers in the camera system? Well, Adam here, this is a process, you know, you just don't uh, all of a sudden change over a fleet, you know, uh, in a, you know, a thousand vehicles with, with different companies that we own. Uh, and, and again, being um, the size that we are uh, well over 50% uh, independent contractors, I said, th this is a whole process. And like you said, being honest and, and explaining things to, to people. Uh, and I've, I've talked to many drivers uh, that have come back that were hesitant or were you know, they were against, you know, we're, you know, we don't want to do this. And then after the fact, they realized, you know, things that happened and here it was, it protected them and it showed. And like you said, even the little things, it's not just an accident. It's, it's about the, the, this lady that gets irate because she doesn't understand that, that, that this truck and trailer have to get over and it takes them you know, they can't just get over in a second like you can in a, in a four wheel car, you know, or an right. SUV. So, so when, and, and like you say, they'll call and they'll, you know, we'll get a, a message, uh, you know, on our corporate hotline at night, you know, and I'll follow up the next day and I'll pull the video and, and we'll watch the video and we'll say, well, our guy didn't do anything wrong. And, you know, we'll call the person back and say, hey, look, we'll share the video with you. We'll sh show you. And you know what? That gives us an opportunity to educate the public. OK, as mm -hmm. well, because, you know, part of what, unfortunately, most people that have never been in the trucking business or never drove a truck, they don't really have a, a, a good understanding of uh, how to deal with, you know, the trucks on the road. And we all know, you know, hey, one thing about COVID was everybody realized in the trucking business, we never we never stopped. And we no, were there we for everybody and we made sure that the products got delivered, you know, and it wasn't just the trucking business. I mean, I used to go to the grocery store and, and I still do. I thank the clerk for being there because if they wouldn't have been there, we wouldn't have been able to get any food or, or, or whatever the case may be and, and the banking industry and so on and so forth. So all of those things play a role. In, and I, I think people realize how important it is. You know, we also go above and beyond training our non-drivers. All of our non-drivers, our employees that aren't, that never drove a truck, that never had a CDL license, we share videos with them. We share training with them so they understand what our drivers go through. And also, more importantly, so they understand how to respect that truck and trailer on the roadway. And we also tell them, share this with your kids, share this with your cousins. Share this with your brothers and sisters, because again, what's it all about? Saving one life. If we can yeah. save one life. You know, when I was a school teacher, I, was, I would always tell my students, if I could help one student, if I helped one student from becoming an addict or, you know, uh, over you know, doing a drug overdose or getting pregnant at a young age or something, if you could help one of them, it's the same thing here in the trucking business. If we could help one person from getting in an accident, one person, then we were successful. I hope we can help more than one, but you know, I think you know what I'm saying. 